Fortnite has released almost 2,000 skins, and out of all of them, this is the most hated cosmetic voted by the fans. It was a close call though, because one outfit has the community up in arms. When a skin concept becomes reality, Epic is usually incredible at bringing it to life, like with Astria. But after six years, they're gonna mess up at least once, and sadly, it was Paxton Price who suffered. When he dropped, everyone was pretty confused, until they realized he was this concept from the surveys. Yeah, they totally butchered him. I'm sure Epic had the reasons for changing it, but the lost potential disappointed a ton of people. Honestly, I gotta disagree with you guys. Bites isn't that bad, okay? He's a super unique outfit with a great backstory, but it's true that a lot of people simply don't like him. They didn't appreciate the fact that he had to wear Bites in order to complete some really important challenges. And so yeah, any quest that makes you equip a skin, it does suck. Still nowhere near as hated as Fabio Sparklemane. Honestly, he just needs to wipe that grin off his face. I mean, what's so funny? <laughs> Jokes aside, Fortnite obviously added him as a meme skin, and you gotta love when they go for something unique and original. But this one creeped out a lot of people. Whether it's the idea of a buff unicorn or just a demon addicted to cereal, I totally get it. Also, what are these tiny hands? Now, when I asked you guys what the worst Fortnite skins were, someone came up a lot, and he's the tier one outfit of this season, Nolan Chance. He's apparently a dollar store John Jones. A lot of people think this guy is boring or a pretty plain design. I mean, you know his skin is hated when his mass version is the most popular. He's not the only outfit from this battle pass that people are skeptical about. Gabby LeMay is an amazing creator, and he's obviously the biggest TikToker for a reason. But when Fortnite released him, a ton of fans weren't happy. There is nothing wrong with the skin itself, it's actually a great design, but Cappy isn't exactly known for playing Fortnite. It just felt out of place and like a move to get more people to play the game. Understandably, fans just felt like there were more deserving creators out there who actually play the game and should have gotten Icon series before him. At least they put effort into his collab, unlike some crossovers which are still hated to this day. Skins like Tron were such wasted potential, while games like Fall Guys got actual characters from the movie, Fortnite just got a ton of defaults wearing Tron outfits. At least they look cool, but it was a disappointment to see other franchises like Ghostbusters and Cobra Kai get the same treatment. Now you're probably wondering what fans consider to be one of the worst tier 100 skins of all time, and there is someone who came up a lot in our surveys, Lux. Tier 100 is always a very special slot for an outfit, and people always feel like it needs to be justified. But when Lux released, she just felt like a regular person. Nothing that special, she didn't have any superpowers or crazy backstory, which tier 100s usually have. Personally though, I kinda like her. But I guess even when you add extra details, the skin could still just be plain ugly. Rick Spartan only released a couple of weeks ago, and people already have him in their most hated list. A huge part of the community dislikes his outfit and design. I mean, you gotta admit, that weird tan orange color does not work well with the blue. But taste is subjective, and there's definitely people out there who love this skin. And then we have Gugamon, an outfit which no one really asked for, but we got him anyway. It felt like the most random crossover of all time, and the worst part, he took up a valuable spot in the battle pass, and no Fortnite players had even heard of him. When they found out he was a virtual artist who straight up looks like an NFT, it was pretty obvious why he was at it. Another money grab is the fact that Fortnite sells default skins and the item shop. In chapter one, they were iconic and associated with people like Tifu or anyone who was a total noob. So when they sold the OGs, we kind of understood why, but every chapter, now they sell the previous ones in the shop and they're actually kind of expensive. I mean, who's buying these? An outfit that was previously free for years should have become paid out of nowhere. Now to anyone who's a fan of DC, I probably don't have to explain why the Deathstroke skin had a hilarious mistake. On the surface, he looks great, right? Until diehard fans compared him to the actual character. Spot the difference? Yeah, this guy has a huge nose for some reason, and we have no idea why Fortnite decided to do this. And let me say, people really didn't like the Fortnite Mares 2021 zombies. I'm not talking about any regular undead outfit here. These were zombie versions of the superhero skins. Obviously the original so well, so Fortnite wanted an excuse to bring him back. Except, they kind of fell flat on its face. Everyone started to complain about how lazy this decision was, and not to mention these versions were super gray and washed out. And I don't even want to get people started a Green Arrow, the first crew pack skin that no one wanted. It wasn't the greatest skin to offer for a subscription. Isn't it meant to entice people into buying it? When you have outfits like Arrow and Loki, it didn't feel like much passion was being put into crew. Nowadays, it's way better with some incredible original designs. But there's no saving some of the goofiest outfits Fortnite has ever made. Bendy and Twisty are meant to be inflatable two men, and they came out looking, well, something. There's definitely somebody out there who likes these, but for a huge chunk of the fan base, they look horrible. Some players even said it gives them nightmares, which is kind of funny. Last season, we were introduced to Kamiko Five Tails, and I have to admit, the skin is actually really unique. I had no idea why people hated it, but apparently she is a part of the Fox Clan. She's meant to be a fox spirit who watches over them, which is cool, but a ton of people seem to hate her. Whether it's the fact they don't like animal skins, or that she isn't drift theme, this one is very divisive. 
divisive, but I can totally see why people don't like Sterling. This has got to be one of the most hated skins in Fortnite history. He's wearing all silver, which already looks unappealing, but then you have his white eyes just staring at you. I don't know, there's just something about this super bright outfit which feels off. Now here's a hated skin I could 100% get behind, Hawkeye. If you saw the skin in the wild and had to guess who this was, nobody would say it's Hawkeye of all people. I mean, come on, he looks nothing like Jeremy Renner and the outfit is super bland. At least Cade kinda looks similar, I guess. And I'm not gonna lie, I forgot that this skin even existed until it appeared in our surveys. A ton of people agreed that Redux is a terrible outfit. Apparently he looks like Grandpa Midas and I totally see it. I'm just cracking up at the thought that Midas just got really old all of a sudden and it looks like this. Although I was surprised to see the mullet marauder in this list personally i think this guy was way too ahead of his time fortnite clearly added him because the mullet had gone totally out of fashion since the 80s well at least it was back in 2018 because it was meant to be a throwback to those classic workout videos but clearly it didn't land with some people and even fortnite themselves know how goofy it is behold the mullet marauder oh. now what i'm out i just can't even now here's one that's totally unsurprising, Aura. Yes, I know this is the most used skin of Fortnite, everyone wears it. And that's the reason why a ton of people just don't like her. It has nothing to do with the skin itself, it's how she's used. Players are always dying to sweat to pros who wear Aura every single day, so it's no surprise that so many players hate her. It's also no shock that Shang-Chi is on this list. Probably the most hated Marvel skin in the entire game. They dropped him to celebrate the release of the movie, and everyone had just left the theater desperate to play as him in Fortnite, only to log in to find out that he looks like huh? this. Shang -Chi looked so good in the movie only for Fortnite to completely dumb him down to the comic version, which barely anyone recognized. But can you believe how much Flytrap was sold for? This guy is legendary rarity despite being one of the ugliest outfits in the game, which means you have to cough up 2,000 V-Bucks. He has no edit styles either, and when he dropped, he didn't even have a back bling. Fortnite was seriously charging 2,000 V-Bucks for his skin with nothing else to offer. It's no wonder that people despise this outfit after so many years. And the same reason that everyone hates Gugumon is why Cause gets such a bad rap. Arguably, he's a more established artist, but it was another collab that just didn't make sense. Not only did they add cause to the game, they brought him back with a Peely version, which people were not happy about. And the skin itself ain't even that bad, but the fact it's a random crossover left a sour taste in players' mouths. Just like it would if you ate mincemeat, probably the freakiest skin in Fortnite. The amount of detail that went into this outfit is actually insane if you look at it for more than five seconds. There is nothing wrong with his design. Except it's simply terrifying. Kind of the point of a Fortnite Mare skin to be honest, but once Halloween is over, what do you even do with this guy? He just collects dust in the locker and gives you nightmares every time you scroll past. On the opposite end of the spectrum is an outfit that no one takes seriously, Grimbles. We probably should have guessed that a Garden Gnome in Fortnite wouldn't look great, but now he's become iconic for being goofy. Nobody wears this unless they're trolling their teammates, or maybe they just really like gnomes, I guess. Speaking of meme sets, I gotta talk about Beast Mode. Not only do these guys look ridiculous, but they were huge outfits, so it actually gave you a disadvantage to use them. Whether you're a metal rhino or whatever animal this is, you can see why players don't like the set. Same goes for Giddy F. This guy is obviously not meant to be taken seriously. It's a Halloween costume skin, and when he dropped, everyone thought it was pretty funny. Obviously, I love when Epic just go wild to make outfits based on insane ideas, but in practice, when you have Giddy F equipped, you can barely see in front of you. On the flip side, though, it is hilarious to do emotes with this guy. I'm sensing a pattern here. Whenever Fortnite adds a wacky skin, it's always so bulky like Bun Bun. The idea of a chocolate rabbit sounds incredible, and whenever I see this guy get kinda hungry, but obviously, it just didn't land with some players. Now we come to probably one of the most hated outfits of all time, soccer skins. They are so generic and easy to customize that every sweat decides to use them. You wanna make your enemies 10 times angrier? Just wear this, and it works every time. They become the symbol of a Fortnite tryhard. And so those were the most hated skins in Fortnite voted by you. It's been Tommy, and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.